My name is Rogelio Cantu Jr. I've been with the Scobie Police Department for eight years. I've been in law enforcement for about 12 years. I've wanted to be the police uh, since I was about seven years old. I have a journal where I actually journaled in there how much I wanted to be the police and how it's such a great job and how I would be really good at it. And that's been my dream since I was a kid. When I was about 12 or 13 years old, I was stopped by the police and just the way that they talked to me, uh, they were swearing at me, uh, dropping a lot of F-bombs, and, and I realized, I said, an adult shouldn't be talking to me like this, you know, this, this person is supposed to be the police, supposed to be a, a good guy, and I just remember how wrong it was for someone to talk to someone in, in that fashion. And through the years, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, they got worse and worse and worse. I grew to despise the police, actually. I felt helpless. I felt like uh, if I filed a complaint, nothing was going to change. Um, it got to a point where I got so angry and like I felt like I had to do something. And the only thing I could think of was just be the police and change it from the inside out. My friend who worked at a local community college, he um, asked if I wanted a job at a the campus police department, uh, just part time, doing miscellaneous things. Uh, so I said, "Wow, this is this is my foot in the door." I went to work every day. I was cleaning the bathrooms in the police department, throwing out the trash, vacuuming, washing the police cars by hand, uh, doing these roadside services. I did that for a few years. I met someone who took me under his uh, his wings and showed me the ropes and he was very um, motivational to me. It motivated me because he looked like me and I didn't, he ultimately became a police officer there and I saw it happen. In my mind, uh, prior to all this, I didn't think it was possible. I didn't know anyone, my parents didn't know anyone, but he showed me that it was possible. So then, I go to the police academy and it's, uh, <laughs> it was, uh, it was one of the hardest things I ever had to do, but one of the most fulfilling. <sighs> I just think of that uh, seven year old who wrote it down on a piece of paper. And it was, um, it was uh, just literally a dream come true. Every day I come to work, it's like I'm living a dream. I always remind myself of where I came from, how I started. I think about that seven-year-old boy. I think about the people who got me here. It means a lot to me. I'm a field training officer here. Some of these people that I've trained will then train someone else in that way, will then train someone else in that way. And then you could change the whole, um, the whole profession. And you could start somewhere small to come on over. Uh, make a difference from the, the inside out. Um, put on the vest, put on the duty belt, and make a difference. Uh, it's honestly the most uh, satisfying, the most uh, uh, fulfilling uh, job in the world. It's the best. It's the best job in the world.